a website like this one that's super crazy and has tons of types of galleries um, like this all of these things they generate permalinks uh, which in turn generates new content that you don't want to have found and you don't want indexed on the web there is stuff for testimonials these also get their own URLs, their own permalinks, which could get indexed by Google. This would generate thin content and it would cause problems to you over time. So that's bad. The first thing that you want to do in order to make sure that you avoid and you start avoiding thin content is to add everything from your uh, WordPress site as a post type here in the automations from Squarely. Now, a lot of you will tell me that you don't have some of the things that you see here so you can't follow along with this tutorial and this video and uh, that's the wrong thing to say because basically you can't have these things unless you have this theme and that's why I really want to show these panels and these demonstrations because you're going to have a different theme and different plugin that creates these sorts of different things and different post types and custom post types and you need to make sure that you have all of them taken care of by Squirly SEO and that's one of the most important steps for you to do because otherwise you can get a lot of thin content that will penalize your website or drag all of the rankings, drag them down and ruin a lot of things in your website. So I don't care if you have these particular things in your website, that's not what's important here. The important thing is that you go and you add everything that you have to our automation, to our sets of automations so that Squirly SEO can handle them. So that's what I'm going to do. Adding, adding, you can see that it's saved. You receive confirmations because Corley SEO is great. Um, we're adding this one as well. Adding this one, adding this one, adding this one. So all these things, they have the option to generate thin content which will get you penalized. So keep adding them. So let's keep adding them. Right, and all the post types are sent in for automation. Start automation setup. Woohoo, and we have a go. So this is the home page. We obviously want to let Google index it. We want to send authority to it. We want to include the sitemap for it. We want to load all of our metas, our patterns, the structured data for each snippets uh, and schema. So we want to do this. If it's a local store or local restaurant, but this one is a website, we don't care about the other options. Wait, no, yeah, website. And I can definitely select. So when you have this type of selector in Squirly Cell, it means that you can actually select more and it will create more schemas because it makes sense. So you only use this when it makes sense uh, for the website. Right, open graph type website, low Twitter cards. So that's it for the home page. Now we definitely want all of these things for the home page. Now we go to posts. And for example, what I have done here um, for my friend, because he had a lot of posts created by this theme that I'm that I've installed on the test website, is actually I went and I deactivated all of his posts. And why did I do that? Well, I did that because I want all of these things. Yep, I want to load everything because it's not indexed and not included in the sitemap. Yes, so the other options, I need them to make sure that the automation rules from Squirly SEO are going to get read while the pages get rendered. So I did this because the theme has actually imported tons of articles and it was becoming very annoying to go and trash them, trash them, trash them. And my friend, for his business, he doesn't use blog posts. So he only uses pages, lots of pages for lots of types of services that people are searching for when repairing their cars or when, when thinking about modifications that they want to do to their vehicles. So they aren't using blog posts. You aren't forced by anybody in the world to use blog posts. He used to have a lot of fresh content just by posting new pages, new services pages into his website. So I'm only telling you this not to encourage you not to use blog posts. I'm telling you this because nobody forces you to do anything. You can be the architect of your own business. You don't have to do what other people are doing. 
you can think for yourself and you can definitely have your own SEO strategy. If you follow all of our guidelines, it will work regardless of what anybody else says on the web. So yeah, we rank with a lot of posts, with a lot of blog posts. We had a lot of customers in rank jumps where we rank them using blog posts, but you don't need blog posts to rank high on the Google search engine, regardless of what everybody says. So this guy that I'm talking about, I've deactivated all of his posts. So none of his posts from the website went to the search engine. He only had pages and he only ranked with pages and services pages because people looking for an auto repair shop, they don't care about blog posts. They care to see what services and how they're gonna fix different problems of the car. So they're not, people are not even looking for auto repair shops or auto shops or stuff like that. They're looking specifically for how do I fix this at my, this type of model car. And that's it. This brand, this make, this model, how do I fix it? How do I fix the AC? Uh, how do I get new Freon? How do I do anything so that my summer trips are going to be awesome in my car? So those can all be landing pages or just normal pages or services pages. So this is what I wanted to show you so that you un understand automation and you understand how websites work. Right, so pages, we're definitely going to need the pages to be active and to have everything for them, even the redirection for broken links. Right, products, we don't need products. So for my friend, for example, this is what I've done. Uh, we don't need the product stuff. And by the way, um, why do I leave this available in the theme? Because maybe in the future, he will have a product and he will use WooCommerce to serve that product. So we're not deleting the things, we're just making it so that Google will not index them and that normal users will not be able to navigate and reach these pages via search engines or via his own website. So that's the only thing that we are doing. We're eliminating it right now from our marketing, let's say, but we keep it here technically because maybe in the future we wanna get back to the product and then when we do, we're going to keep reactivating all of these things and making them indexed. But right now we don't need them. So we move on. We go to categories. Uh, we do the same thing. Right. Then we go to tags. And we definitely don't need tags. We're moving everything. We're going to product category. We're removing this as well. Open graph, you can select multiple types if it doesn't make sense for this particular post type. And you can see that there's tons of things that were created by this theme which is why I want, to, I want to do this demo here because it's very important to keep deactivating everything that you can deactivate so that you will not be penalized by thin content. Just make sure that you go and you do this. because this theme really imports all the demo content that it can possibly import. Now we don't need the search pages at the moment because for this website, we don't have clear strategy for it. And we redirect the attachment pages. Now for the 404, this is important. Let's see, let Google index it. No, 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 but we do want to redirect it and we are going to redirect it to the homepage basically on this test website. And that's an automation that we will need. So custom post types, at the moment, I don't know what the custom post types from this team are. So I'm just going to deactivate them so that I won't ruin my SEO. E landing page, we don't use them. This is something that's used by the theme. So you want to take this off of Google as well. Car testimonials, this is what I've been showing you as thin content. 
So this is definitely something that we want to remove from Google as soon as possible. Gallery is something that's really going to be thin content and we want to remove from Google as soon as possible. Service estimate pages. These are great for user experience on the website and definitely not really good on search engines. So we want to remove that as well. All right. Of course, you can learn more about automation, the patterns, how they get created and how you can after you have. So you have the first lineup that was these the settings for the entire site then you have automations and then you can customize what was already automated on the settings that were activated so that's how it works so you go from the full setup to automations to custom setup and you do the custom setup via bulk seo or just by going with a with a snippet let me see like testimonials if you want to optimize this page you can go here to custom seo and you can say edit snippet and you can select something from the patterns or you can select uh, really this uh, awesome auto let's say and do awesome auto delivers awesomeness yeah so you can save it and you can go to JSON LD and select more types of schemas and you can do a lot more and you can even validate it right from here so this is how you go page by page but what we're talking about, we're talking about automations, right? Right, so you need to go through all of this and you need to remove everything this is not a testimonial, this is a slash page. So this is a page, that's what I was looking at. These other things, testimonials are permalinks that get created for each of these. And there are permalinks in this theme because I know it. Uh, but I just want to make sure that everything is set up correctly. So you can go through the rest of them and deactivate them and be very careful with your automations. And this is what this presentation has been about.